the general focus of our work uh, is becoming increasingly important today. Networks is not a new idea. People have been engaging in social networks, by which I mean networks involving social systems, uh, for centuries. Today, because of technologies, it becomes possible for us to be able to communicate and collaborate with anyone, anytime, any place around the world. So the question then is, having that choice, who do we decide to collaborate with? Who do we decide to connect with? And that becomes a topic of tremendous interest, both because it has engineering dimensions and technological dimensions, as well as the social dimensions. So it becomes a truly transdisciplinary uh, question that then requires um, resources, theories, methods uh, from across different disciplines, whether it's engineering, communication, or management. And so my focus has been primarily on understanding what are the socio-technical drivers as to how we use our networks to create teams, to create collaborations, to find out who knows who, to find out who knows what, to find out who knows who knows who, and who knows who knows what. And our central research question is to see how the dynamics of what is happening within worlds like EverQuest are indicative of what might be happening in terms of general social processes. This gives us a terrific exploratorium to be able to understand the dynamics of why people choose to work with other people, why people tend to trade with other people, exchange goods with people, to what extent is this driven by geographic proximity, uh, when it doesn't need to be because we are in this case in an online world, to what extent is it, is it driven by shared interests, uh, to what extent do you end up choosing people who are friends of your friends? These are things we know happen in, in the offline world. And what we're discovering is that actually the same dynamics seem to appear in the online world. Part of what is exciting is that industrial engineering and management sciences has discovered that social networks and knowledge networks more generally are an important part of what is happening in the workplace. And while social network analysis as a field that grew up in the social sciences has spent a great deal of time in describing social networks, Industrial engineering and management sciences is particularly well positioned to be able to take the understanding of the science of networks and be able to use that for building better networks, for engineering better networks. We have our undergraduate students who from their very first year are involved in team projects. So they begin to experience firsthand the recognition that engineering as an enterprise is not a solitary affair, that people need to work in teams, people need to collaborate, and that even while as students they are competing with one another in some ways in other contexts to prepare for the engineering world that they face, they need to build better collaboration skills. If you look at the grand societal challenges that we face in the 21st century, whether it's in environment, whether it's in energy, uh, whether it's in the public health area, all of these are challenges that require several disciplines to come together in order to address the challenges. Universities today have to be geared towards being able to assemble the teams that bring together diverse intellectual perspectives to be able to address these challenges. Northwestern University has really stood out as one of the places at the forefront of this movement. Uh, across the university, whether it is in the McCormick School of Engineering, School of Communication, Kellogg, uh, the Medical School, um, Weinberg, you see there's a real spirit of being able to reach out across. In fact, I would argue that that is one of the competitive advantages that Northwestern has.